And the Oscar goes to... Parasite. <gasps> Parasite makes history, Joaquin Phoenix and Brad Pitt get political, Eminem drops in for a surprise performance, plus Hollywood's biggest stars take the stage. Right now we're breaking down every moment you need to see from the 2020 Oscars. Janelle Monae kicked off the show with a special tribute to the one and only Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. She even handed her hat to the man who played the TV icon in A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Tom Hanks. Post star and red carpet style staple Billy Porter also joined Monet on stage, and he sparkled and shined bright. Meanwhile, Monet pulled a quick change into a floral ensemble and shouted out an important message. Happy Black History Month. Chris Rock and Steve Martin then came out with some comedy. You know, I was thinking today, Chris, that we both have hosted the Oscars before, and this is such an incredible demotion. And with the two funny legends on stage, no one was safe. They went on to roast some of Hollywood's biggest stars, and Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is so rich, he got divorced, and he's still the richest man in the world. Uh, Marty, I, I gotta tell you, I love the first season of The Irishman. <laughs> oh my God, there's Brad Pitt. It's, it's like looking in a mirror. Brad Pitt took home the first award of the night, winning Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and he got a little political in his speech. Thank you to the Academy for this honor of honors. They told me I only have 45 seconds up here, which is 45 seconds more than the Senate gave John Bolton this week. He also thanked director Quentin Tarantino and his castmates. Leo, I'll ride on your coattails any day, man. The view's fantastic. And in the Best Supporting Actress category, Laura Dern won her first Oscar for her performance in Marriage Story. She gave an emotional speech thanking her superstar parents, Bruce Dern and Diane Ladd. And you know, some say, never meet your heroes, but I say if you're really blessed, you get them as your parents. One of the most shocking moments of the night was when Eminem delivered a surprise performance of Lose Yourself from 8 Mile in honor of the songs that made movies we love. Lose Yourself won the Oscar for Best Original Song in 2003. And while some members of the audience lost themselves in the moment, Martin Scorsese just seemed lost. Grammy winner Billie Eilish was also in attendance. She sang Yesterday by the Beatles during the In Memoriam segment. The night's Best Original Song nominees all took the stage for performances, including Elton John, Idina Menzel, Chrissy Metz, Randy Newman, and Cynthia Erivo, who brought the crowd to their feet with Stand Up from Harriet. But it was Elton John who ended up taking home the award for Best Original Song for I'm Gonna Love Me Again from Rocket Man. Another musical moment, presenters and SNL alumni Maya Rudolph and Kristen Wiig kept us laughing with a hilarious medley of costume-related songs as they presented the award for costume design. Boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over. You've got the look. And Billie Eilish's face went viral. Speaking of comedy, James Corden and Rebel Wilson suited up in their cat costumes to present the award for achievement in visual effects. Nobody more than us understands the importance of good, good visual, visual effects. effects. And the night's top awards went to, drumroll please, Joaquin Phoenix for Best Actor for Joker. He used his time on stage to honor his late brother, River Phoenix, as well as speak out in support of causes dear to his heart. And I think that's when we're at our best. When, when we support each other, not when we cancel each other out for past mistakes. Renee Zellweger won Best Actress for Judy, and the biggest award of the night, Best Picture, went to Parasite, making history as the first non-English language film to ever win this award. Parasite also took home the trophies for Best International Feature, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Director for Bong Joon-ho. Thank you, I, I will drink until next morning, thank you. <laughs> Just don't forget to take an Uber. All right, for the complete list of all the night's winners, snubs, and other moments you didn't see, head to th.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.